here the SID Display Week here in Los Angeles and uh, who are you? <laughs> My name is Candace Brown Elliott and in terms of SID membership I'm a senior member um, and in 2014 was honored by SID with the Auto Shada Prize for my work on Pentile displays. So um, maybe you can grab, uh, though you don't have to, but if people have a Samsung AMOLED, you're part of it? Well, the Samsung um, OLED panels uh, often have our particular layout. It's the um, Pentile Diamond layout, and it's a, uh, a layout that allows you to get the same resolution and image quality from only two subpixels per pixel using technology called um, digital subpixel rendering. So you did that? You, oh, invent you invented that? My company developed it. Um, my team and I worked on it, although I was the original original thought or thought leader of it is the best way I like to put it sub pixel rendering sub pixel rendering so how can you render below the pixel is that what what does it mean well first off you have to understand what a sub pixel is see most color flat panel displays use separated color points the red green blue or maybe white or even some other colors depending on the particular design of the display but though each one of those different color dots is called a sub pixel because in an a naive formulation of how you would analyze a display is that you have a pixel and then inside of a box you would have a red, a green, and a blue dot and each of those is a subcomponent of that pixel and that's called a subpixel. However, in subpixel rendering we don't treat them as being subpixels. We treat them as being reconstruction points for the image just using all of the the each of those dots as being its own center of light and image information. And when you do that, you make an information more efficient. You make a display that's more energy and information efficient. It can be a lot um, better display. So um, does that mean, uh, let's say a 1080p display has four times 1080p dots in there. Well, usually you three, can, three times three more. Three times 1080p, and that means you can, you can render, you, you somehow you render something differently? Yes, you use each of those dots that's within that, um, large, that, that number, and each one becomes its own, like, pixel itself. And uh, so what, what have you been doing uh, in, the, in, this SI, in this display industry, and when, when you've been doing lots of stuff, right? Well, <laughs> I've been involved in SID since 1986. Um, and of course, since 1990, I, I was working on electroluminescent displays. In 97, started working on LCOS displays. And then in 2000, I founded a company called Clairvoyant to develop the digital signal processing algorithms for subpixel rendering and the particular novel subpixel layouts that would be more energy and information efficient. So is this a, a technology you license out to the well, OLED makers? <laughs> originally we were licensing it as, a, um, as our business model, but Samsung bought uh, Clairvoyant and all of the technology in 2008. So now you work for Samsung? Not really, no. No. No, so I, start, I started another company in 2008 called Nuvoyance, and then under contract, so as a contract supporter of that technology, we worked with Samsung. And then later, I've been working in the last few years with several other companies um, on other ideas and newer technologies. So what is Nuvoyance? Nuvoyance is that company that's formed in 2008 to develop those newer technologies and um, develop stuff. So we, you know, one of our clients that's, uh, that's publicized it, we, we've developed a new layout um, for um, UDC that uses four colors, red, green, blue, and yellow. Um, so UDC can um, get a more uh, energy efficient um, OLED panel. So uh, OLED now is a 30 year anniversary and as LCD is huge, what do you think is the future for OLED? Um, OLED is going to continue to be the dominant technology in um, mobile phones, smartphones. Uh, LCD will continue to be the dominant technology in television. There'll be some overlap on both sides. Some cell phones will still have LCD and some, self, some TVs will have OLED. But there's been pretty much a market segmentation in those two different technologies. And I believe that that will continue for a good number of years as each technology continues to comp remain competitive and to get better. So you don't have to reveal any secrets from the industry, but I'm, uh, there's been rumors that an iPhone might be using OLED. That would be a big deal. I wouldn't know. 
and then uh, so something like that that would really make it uh, again dominant. I wouldn't know you know the if old joke um, yeah. I visited Apple one and all I got was this lousy t-shirt um, no so I wouldn't be able to say one way or the other all right so uh, in the future more and more OLED and the uh, SID display week you think is a cool uh, is well, it, as I said, SID is Display good. Week has been where I've been, you know, hanging out since, oh goodness, um, the uh, early 90s. So, it's a cool place to hang out. Oh yeah, every year. Um, I always go to SID uh, Display Week. Since I said uh, 90-something, since I started, went to my first one at, uh, in Seattle.